Hi everyone, today I'm going to do the Epic Reads tag. I know I'm a bit behind the times with this and it was created about eight months ago and it's kind of already done the round so I won't be tagging anyone but I thought I'd do it because the questions are quite fun. Question one is if you could invite one author and one of their fictional characters to tea, who would you invite and what would you serve them? I find this a difficult question and quite a stressful question because it's something that changes a lot like who I, I would invite to, to tea if I could invite any three people or you know these kinds of questions. I thought maybe about Donna Tartt and one of her characters from The Secret History but I, I wouldn't know which one to choose. So in the end I thought Patrick Rothfuss and Quoth from The Name of the Wind. I would invite them because I haven't met Patrick Rothfuss and I would quite like to meet him and also because Quoth is one of the most interesting characters that I have read in recent times so I'm maybe a little bit obsessed with these books at the moment, so that, that might be part of it. There would be lots of storytelling involved, and it would be very entertaining. Question two. What book do you wish an author would write a prequel to? I'm sure I could think of a lot that I would like prequels for. I mean, Harry Potter, obviously. I think we all want to know more about the Marauders. Also, The Handmaid's Tale, I'd be quite fascinated to know how that world came about. But I think what I would most enjoy would be if Philip Pullman wrote a prequel to his Dark Materials where he was talking about the witches because I'm really interested in them and I, I want to know more about their history and their relationships because it's touched on in the books but I feel like there's so much more under the surface. Question three, which two characters not from the same book do you think would make a good couple? I don't like this question <laughs> because it's really difficult. I, I don't ship characters a lot and then when it when it comes to like across books, it's just too co too complicated. Especially as these characters come from such different worlds, and that's kind of the idea. But what one character who I would like to see with with somebody nice, with basically anyone who isn't Heathcliff, <laughs> Catherine Earnshaw, also Isabella Linton. I would like to see her end up with somebody nice. I don't think anyone deserves to be with Heathcliff. Maybe Bellatrix the Strange. Okay, that's my decision. Bellatrix and Heathcliff. Because there's nothing that could possibly go wrong with that. Question four. If you ran into your favourite author on the subway and could say one sentence to them, who is it and what would you say? I get super nervous meeting authors. On Saturday, I met Philip Pullman and I just, I don't know, I got so emotional. And basically, I, I said... Thank you so much for writing these because they mean so much to me. That was all I could come up with. So honestly, if I saw one of my favourite authors on the subway or on the tube, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say anything. I would I would just have a little fangirl moment, but not say anything. But if I met Donna Tart, again I think I would just have to say thank you for writing these beautiful incredible novels. I'm so boring. <laughs> question five. What book made you a reader and why? Another difficult question because I feel like there are so many books that kind of shaped me as a reader and I can't really pin it down to one but the first books that I read, the first chapter books that I read on my own were the Magic Treehouse books by Mary Pope Osborne and it's a little bit like Doctor Who in that you've got this treehouse which travels in space and time. So those books really got me interested in history and they were really fascinating and great adventure stories each time so yeah if I had to pin it down to one it would be, it would be one of those. Probably Dolphins at Daybreak. Incendio! Your bookshelf has just caught fire. Show us the one book you save. Now, as you may know, my books, or most of them, are back in New Zealand, so I think there would be nothing left by the time I got back to New Zealand to save anything. But of the books that I have here, you, you're gonna be able to guess this. It's got to be a little live because I, I love this edition of it. It's really beautiful. It's a hardback. I think it's the first edition. I paid a lot of money to get it from America. And it's also signed. <laughs> so, I, I mean, for, for both sentimental value and sort of physical value, this is probably one of the more valuable books on my shelf. Not that I have many very valuable books, but yeah. A little life because I just want to hug it. 
Question seven, which dystopian world would you choose to live in and why? This really is the lesser of all of the evils, isn't it? In the end, I thought I would go with the Gracekeepers because life isn't great in this world, but it's kind of, humanity is still surviving in some capacity. And I like, I like the idea of all of these islands. Maybe it's because I grew up by the sea as well and I, I love the sea. I sometimes fantasise about being being a sailor and just living on the seas. I'm really kidding myself because I would be a rubbish sailor as well. Question eight, what is your most epic read of all time? It has to be War and Peace, doesn't it? I mean, I, I feel like it, literature doesn't really get much more epic than that. War and Peace kind of is the definition of epic. It's ridiculously long. It follows so many different characters and storylines. It's historical, it's set over many years and yeah it's gotta be it hasn't it what a boringly generic answer if you haven't done this tag and you want to do it consider yourself tagged as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye